the 4th century. In the West, was shaped by Constantine the Great, the first Roman emperor to adopt Christianity. He was the sole ruler and re-established a single capital city choosing the site of ancient Byzantium later renamed Constantinople in his honor. The two-emperor system originally established by Diocletian in the previous century fell into regular practice, and the East continued to grow in importance while Rome itself reduced greatly in importance. Christianity became the official religion, and the empire's old pagan culture began to disappear. Germanic tribes plagued the empire from 376 CE onward and was the beginning of the end for the Western Roman Empire. In China, the Jin dynasty, which had united the nation prior in 280, began to quickly face troubles by the start of the century due to political infighting, which led to the opportunistic insurrections of the northern barbarian tribes, which quickly overwhelmed the empire, forcing the Jin court to retreat and entrench itself in the south past the Yangtze River starting what is known as the Eastern Jin Dynasty around 317. Towards the end of the century, emperor of the former Qin, Fu Jian, united the north under his banner, and planned to conquer the Jin Dynasty in the south, so as to finally reunite the land, but was decisively defeated at the Battle of Fei River in 383, causing massive unrest and civil war in his empire, thereby leading to the fall of the former Qin, and the continued existence of the Eastern Jin Dynasty. Armenia was the first country to adopt Christianity as the official state religion. An earthquake with a magnitude of at least 8 hit the eastern Mediterranean with associated huge tsunami creating widespread destruction in Crete, Greece, Libya, Egypt, Cyprus, and Sicily. The 5th century. Noted for being a period of migration and political instability throughout Eurasia. It saw the collapse of the Western Roman Empire which came to an end in 476 AD. This empire had been ruled by a succession of weak emperors, with the real political might being increasingly concentrated among military leaders. Internal instability allowed a Visigoth army to ransack Rome in 410. Western Empire received another serious blow when a second foreign group, the Vandals, occupied Carthage, capital of an extremely important province in Africa. Attempts to retake the province were interrupted by the invasion of the Huns under Attila. After Attila's defeat, both Eastern and Western empires joined forces for a final assault on Vandal North Africa, but this campaign was a spectacular failure. In China, the period of the Sixteen Kingdoms continued. This was characterized by the formation and collapse of small sub-kingdoms, ruled by warring ethnic groups. After the fall of the former Qin towards the end of the previous century, the north of China was once again reunited by Northern Wei in 439. Meanwhile, in the Eastern Jin Dynasty, the Jin statesman and general Liu Yu consolidated his power and forced the last emperor of the Jin Dynasty, Emperor Gong of Jin, to abdicate to him in 420. This created the Lu Song Dynasty which was also the starting point of the period known as the Northern and Southern Dynasties. Towards the end of the 5th century, the Gupta Empire of India was invaded from Central Asia and occupied by elements of the Huna peoples. These peoples may have been related to the Huns who devastated Rome during the same period. In 455 the city of Chichen Itza is founded in Mexico. The 6th century. In the West, it was the end of classical antiquity era and the start of the Middle Ages. The collapse of the Western Roman Empire late in the previous century left Europe fractured into many small Germanic kingdoms competing fiercely against each other. From the upheaval the Franks rose to eminence and shaped a sizable realm covering much of modern France and Germany. In the meantime, the surviving Eastern Roman Empire began to expand under Emperor Justinian who recaptured North Africa from the Vandals and attempted fully to recover Italy as well, in the hope of reinstating Roman control over the lands. In its second golden age, the Sassanid Empire reached the peak of its power under Hosrau I in the 6th century. The classical Gupta Empire of northern India, largely overrun by the Huna, ended in the mid-6th century. In Japan, the Kofun period gave way to the Asuka period. After being divided for more than 150 years among the southern and northern dynasties, China was reunited under the Sui dynasty toward the end of the 6th century. The three kingdoms of Korea persisted throughout the century.
the Gok Turks became a major power in Central Asia after defeating the Rurun. In the Americas, Teotihuacan began to decline in the 6th century after having reached its zenith between AD 150 and 450 which was the classic period of the Maya civilization in Central America. In 535, the hypothesized volcanic eruption in the tropics which triggers several years of unusually cold weather, resulting in mass famine in the northern hemisphere. In 541 due to the extreme weather, first pandemic of bubonic plague, plague of Justinian, hits Constantinople and the rest of Byzantine Empire. In 570 the birth of the Islamic prophet Muhammad. Dionysius Exiguus creates the Anno Domini system, inspired by the birth of Jesus in 525. This is the system upon which the Gregorian calendar and common era systems are based.